Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by acids, bases and alkalis. You should then be able to describe what's meant by a strong acid and then describe what happens in neutralisation. Now I should just point out that you will have seen a lot of this at GCSE. However, at A level you really need to know this very well. I'm showing you here the formulas of four different acids and it's very important that you learn these formulas. We've got hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid and ethanoic acid. Now a key idea you need to understand is that all acids contain the element hydrogen. When we dissolve an acid in water, the hydrogen is released as the hydrogen ion H+. And you need to understand that the hydrogen ion is simply a proton. Scientists say that the acid molecule dissociates, which means splits. When this happens, we also release a negative ion. In the case of hydrochloric acid, this is the chloride ion. Now in the case of hydrochloric acid, every acid molecule dissociates and releases the hydrogen ion. Because of this, we say that hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. Sulfuric acid and nitric acid are also strong acids. I'm showing you here ethanoic acid in water. Now in the case of ethanoic acid, only a small percentage of the acid molecules dissociate. Scientists say that ethanoic acid is a weak acid as it only partially dissociates. Okay, we're going to look now at bases. I'm showing you four bases here. Bases include metal oxide such as copper oxide, metal hydroxide such as magnesium hydroxide and metal carbonate such as sodium carbonate. Ammonia is also a base. So what makes a chemical a base? Well the key fact is that a base can neutralise an acid to produce a salt. And it's really important that you learn that definition. Coming up, we look at neutralisation reactions between acids and bases and we'll see what's meant by an alkali. Okay, we've already seen that a base can neutralise an acid to produce a salt. I'm showing you here the reaction between a metal oxide and an acid. We've got copper oxide reacting with sulfuric acid and are making the salt copper sulfate and water. Now there are a couple of points about this that you need to understand. Firstly, when we form the salt, the metal ion in the metal oxide has replaced the hydrogen ions in the acid. So in this case, the copper ion from the copper oxide has replaced the hydrogen ions in the sulfuric acid to form the salt copper sulfate. We can also see that the oxide ion from the metal oxide and the hydrogen ions from the acid have formed water. We can see a similar reaction when we react a metal hydroxide with an acid. I'm showing you here the reaction between magnesium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. In this case, we're making the salt magnesium chloride plus water. Now, when we react an acid with a metal carbonate, we make three products. These are the salt, carbon dioxide and water. And I'm showing you that here for the reaction between sodium carbonate and nitric acid. Okay, now that we've looked at bases, let's take a look at alkalis. Alkalis are bases that dissolve in water. I'm showing you here copper oxide and sodium hydroxide. Both of these are bases as they neutralise acids producing a salt. Copper oxide is insoluble in water, so this is a base only. However, sodium hydroxide is soluble in water. When we dissolve sodium hydroxide in water, we make sodium hydroxide solution. And sodium hydroxide solution is an alkali. All group 1 metal hydroxides are soluble in water and can form alkalis. And I'd recommend that you learn that. Now, ammonia is another example. Ammonia is a gas, but this is highly soluble in water, producing the alkali ammonium hydroxide. Now the key feature of all alkalis is that in solution they release the hydroxide ion OH- and I'm showing you that here for sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. When an alkali reacts with an acid we make a salt and water. Here's the reaction between ammonium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Now we can actually summarise this reaction in a much simpler form. Remember that the alkali releases the hydroxide ion OH- and the acid releases the hydrogen ion H+. So we can summarise the neutralisation equation by showing these two reacting together like this. 
In the next video, we'll start looking at redox reactions.